<laughs> I think we just like healing and card draw. And we like Adara for removal, I think. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I wanted a mill deck with good death rattles. Yeah, shellfish, exactly. Uh, we wanted free drop guy, of course. Death Lord, I like usually. I think we actually probably want Mistress of Mixtures. Just good. Any death rattle that helps me like stay alive, basically. And then we want quest line. I think last time I felt like I didn't have enough to make the quest line very good. So I think I need to go denser on early game death rattles, basically. Any that are just kind of useful. So we'll do that. Uh, Zombie Chow is sort of the kind of card I'm looking at. Just a good body to get down. It's not a death rattle you love going off. Honestly, explosive sheep as a board clear might be okay. Cool with that. Uh, plated beetle, yes. That said, cultist, probably yes. All the defensively minded death rattles, basically. Early game death rattles. Treasure guard, I don't hate. I kind of like that it's a taunt. That's cool for uh, amulet if we go amulet. Maybe Twilight Skull's better in this deck now, too. I'd... So we've got a Dara for removal. Is there any other, like, good removal card I want to run or any other good mill card? Like, we've always talked about Nazoth and these sort of decks. Oh, Zyrella we need. We need Zyrella to follow up all these death rattles. We also have been running Solar for the due process as well. Oh, Naturalize! What am I doing? Forgot all the good Druid mill cards. Naturalize in here, too, of course. Maybe we cut the Treasure Guard. That seems... Unnecessary. We're drawing cards anyway off other stuff. Uh, I want to run solar for naturalize. I think solar is also good with amulet. We found out too. Death Lord's risky. I'm gonna cut the Death Lord. It does help the mill game plan, but this deck's not very great at removal. So let's let's cut it. It's a little risky. Okay, I like this. So couple, quite a few early death rattles now, and some death rattle summon cards for the quest line. Mill follow ups. Um, Adara gives us our own mill protection, but also we should just be ahead of our opponent because a lot of these are one directional mills, like the shellfish stuff and naturalize and stuff. So yeah, we tried location before. It felt really bad. It's just like spin three mana for I don't know. It just didn't work as well. Really tempo minus basically. Should be fun. So last time we did this, it was. Worked a little better than I expected, to be honest. It, sort of thing you expect to be absolute utter garbage. Worked a little better than I expected, number one. And we also didn't hit mummy magic, which I think I think the idea here is mummy magic will carry this deck's like survivability to an extent and value to an extent. And, and that mill takes longer and longer to make an impact in duels the later you go on a run. So having mummy magic to shore up the game plan just add all that quest survivability and value generation as we get more and more death rattles from priests generally they they give us a lot of value uh interesting hero power i don't know how to how to work with that but i think awaken the makers is going to be really important so i'm going to actually keep this twilight's call as a way to jump start the awaken the makers although god i need an actual minion <laughs> i was kind of trusting one of those would hit unfortunately that's not the case Believe this deck's not rocking quite as much aggression as a typical priest would, like a tether priest. Any void fiends aren't ultimately too scary one at a time. Really a two three can kill them. Solar naturalized already, man. It's like half their deck gone. Literally almost half their deck gone. I was I was exaggerating, but it's actually about half the deck. Jeez. I need to hit like Death Said Cultist though, or Plated Beetle soon. I want to get a Plated Beetle and a Mistress of Mixtures in particular. Hero powers are not a throwaway here. I think two health is a big deal in this in this particular scenario. <clears throat> this is another call. Okay. Yeah, we'll coin a shellfish actually here. Just a big threat. This early in duels, this just hitting them a couple times might be enough to win. That alone works for me. Amulet is also really good if it dies because then you just get a 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. I do need to be mindful of, of, of uh, Void though next turn. So, I don't know. Do we think they're running Void? Probably, right? Because they're running... Drown Dude, this is twice in two days I've played mill decks that have drowned my dude. I hate it. Oh, that's so frustrating, honestly. I honestly guess I'll just solar naturalize here. I, I, I mean, hero powering to heal is worth something, but not that much. I just want to kill that and just do my thing. 
only burning two actual cards, but of course advancing the game plan. <sighs> Gift, and what's the next one? Shadow Vision. Okay, it's hoping for a void, but man, how can you drown a clam? It lives in the water. Listen here, don't you bring your science in this part of the... <laughs> we don't want none of that fancy science in our hearthstone, no siree. <laughs> Man, I'm surprised they didn't wait to, to void the the 7-7. Uh, the seven, seven. I think I would have risked taking 7 for that, but they decided it wasn't worth it. They might know their deck better than me. In fact, I know they know their deck better than me. What am I saying? Of course they know it better than I do. I don't know it at all. All right, so Twilight's Call actually not even ready yet because my only death rattle has uh, been been stuffed into a deck. Ugh, I need Cultist, I need my Plata Beetle to die, I need my Mistress to die. Taking little chip damages everywhere here. Zyrella will be a significant heal at that point, probably. Oh, that's gross. Oh boy. Am I dead? What, 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 what's their end game here? Without Mind Tether, I don't know what all these spells are moving towards. What are they planning to do to me? I don't know where this is going. Oh. Okay. Currently, I cannot trade my minion. Well, I can trade in the 2-2, I guess. I can't I can't trade in the beetle to die. Feels very sad about it. What are they gonna get? Nothing useful this turn, I guess. Maybe trade an amulet or something, but... Illuminate! You think Blast is the right game? Maybe, but the, the only thing we've seen is Powered Feast, and that was randomly generated, so I don't think that's pointing towards it necessarily. I guess I'd play a Death's Head Cultist here if I got one. Man, I didn't get one. Ugh, can't kill off my dudes. <sighs> I feel like I'm probably dead, right? I'm going to 19 if I want. Uh, it doesn't feel good enough. <laughs> Do process worth more or is a heal worth more? It's not like do process is lethal yet. Do I think 17 safe? They've got four and, and let's say two is six. They need to find 11 damage for a discounted seven mana. It's not impossible, but I don't think it's super likely without mind tether yet. If I go for due process, can I just win next turn anyway? I don't really have any way to, to, to add extra draws. They're taking two and then like... This is one and two and then three and four. I don't have shellfish plays. I don't I don't think it's time to do process. I think I actually need to play to Adara Zyrella as my win condition. Hoping there's not a lethal and then I can trade in my beetle. Adara to restore the board parity and then then Zyrella to to do more stuff. Zyrella doesn't have any of my mill plays right now though, so I'm kind of relying on just normal Okay, that's good. They're definitely not going for any sort of lethal yet. That's nice. Okay. I'm going to get this back in the Adara, which is actually pretty cool. All right, so I may not actually have to go for Zyrella here just yet. We might be able to go more for the, the Adara. Uh, 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 oh, this is only enemy minions. Oh my god, I forgot. That's even better. Hitting for two is awesome. I don't need it in deck. That's fine. It's not Psychic Stream, bro. Uh, Amara, not Adara. This is so hard to keep their names apart. But I might be able to go for an Amara game plan. This is three. How many have actually died? The Beetle and the Mistress only? You think this is your time? Oh, wow. That's just playing it. It doesn't have the Battle of Christ. So that's not super useful to them. Uh, is this lethal at all? What was their fatigue? Three uh this is this is another five that's eight this is another four is 12. so not actually a lethal just yet Zyrella plays some healing but not really that good i'm, I'm a little sad here because i, I need a i need to be able to force a, like, like this could hit me for 11 next turn i'm worried that'll kill me i kind of need to force like some healing which Zyrella does but i don't feel great about it yet Maybe it's fine. Maybe we just win with due process next turn of Izyrella this turn, right? Sure, that's okay. They're healing for four, though, off this because of the mistress, so I don't know if that is okay. I heal for eight, but I, I make my hero power is, I think, the important part. So the hero power nets a lot of a lot of power. And I, I'm less likely to die on board, of course. 
So they, yeah, due process next turn does set up the lethal. They don't heal because we have five and four and five off this. So natural draw is four. This is five and this is five. So <laughs> what? <laughs> Those are all my Adara cards. That's funny. I love it. Okay. All righty. It's kind of a weird game, wasn't it? <clears throat> I'm saying like it's over. I mean, they might heal enough, but certainly feel better than I did before. Two mana there ever relevant? Let's see how. Two process hurts them more than it helps them. Explosive sheep doesn't matter. I'm really thinking it out, but I don't see it. <clears throat> oh yeah, good detail. Yes, it did keep the shellfish. That's actually a great note. It kept the shellfish that started in my deck. Yeah, that's really cool. Even though Adara, you know, it was theirs for a minute and then Adara, you know, took it back, but it, it recognized that it started with me. That's pretty cool. Not excited about any of these. I would have loved like a Be Our Guest or a Mysterious Tome or something, right? I do not think Inspiring Presence matters to us at all. Sticky Fingers is... I mean, eventually might be good in Priest. Makes makes Amara cost one less. But I don't think good on average. I think I think Backpacks just adds that layer of consistency to our early game death rattles, helping us get to Amara sooner. That's probably the move. Okay. It's a death rattle package. This is a removal package. And this is a garbage package. I think... I think even though these aren't my favorite death rattles, they are death rattles, which helps. And even though they're kind of inconsistent, the, the small backpacks is a bit of a hedge against inconsistency, so should be good. Yeah, I don't I don't think Adara Sticky Fingers is really much of a consideration, guys. It often takes forever to actually draw the Adara things, and often they're not things you really care too much about playing anyway. Uh they're they're your opponent's garbage usually anyway. Random little stuff you just had to get get rid of to clear the board, relic minions and stuff that aren't really very useful to to play again. So I'm I'm happy with backpacks. Good mill start. My god. Be our guest though, man. Ugh. It's so hard to beat be our guest. It just it it feels like it is so much better than any other tier 1 passive right now. It really creates some some big big plays. Only downside with this mill hand right now is it number one it gives them be our guest. Number two, I, I I actually would prefer to have death rattles right now to get to Amara sooner. Because healing will matter a lot against this hero power, probably. So to have this many cards in hand and only one really expensive death rattle does does make me feel a little distraught. Explosive sheep, I'll go ahead and play. Wanna get this going. ASAP. Ugh. So I have the naturalized to kill the first big threat, but still, what about the second one? Holding that? We're playing it last. No oh. Okay. That's the worst possible scenario, but you know. <laughs> it's, it's, okay. <laughs> That's fine. That's totally fine. Definitely not really sad that has happened. I guess I need to find Adara. I don't know, man. We're going to lose. I'm hoping whatever that was was a low roll because I didn't actually get to pick it. Okay, let's let's chill here. I'm willing to take six. I mean, I, I don't want to, but I'm, I just want to see what that next thing is before I commit a big removal resource. Or, a, 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 well, certainly a... Oh, my God, another one already. Of course, I'm giving them tons of cards. Like I said, it's a huge risk. <sighs> okay. This one they get to pick, so this one might be gross. Yeah, three attacks, actually not too scary. Ooh, hurrah. Okay. Um, all right, so Courage on this. Naturalize it, play the free to process with the free solar eclipse and they're dead, but they're actually not dead. I'm just kidding. That will make us lose the game. Uh, this is the highest threat. I don't, I mean, I can naturalize, but why really? It's not going to help me win. Or so, I don't know if I said, I, I could solar, but I don't think it helps me win, right? It's not, not worth the trouble, probably. I think there's a really, really good chance I'm just dead here. Um, I don't know. Not yet to Adara anywhere close. I mean, they need just a few meager spells to kill me. That seems like that's going to make their meager spells even easier to achieve. <laughs> uh, 
how do you i don't know how you win this game right just three invitations in the first four turns pretty gross not like this no Okay, the good news is we got our one win, so that's always gonna get us to mummy magic time if we if we get mummy magic as we hope anyway. Uh, exerciser's not bad, yeah. I mean, Blood Moon, we will theoretically have some minion-y type boards for that, but I think I think this gives me a good silence and removal card we don't otherwise have. Queldalar is actually pretty fun, but exerciser's better. This is not the kind of run we take Queldalar. Queldalar's best when, oh my God, really, again? So weird to get two of those. Quelvalar's best when you have a deck that's already good and like self-sufficient, and then you can just add the Quelvalar in. But this deck's not good or self-sufficient. This deck sucks. So I think we need. I think we need to try for an actual good card here. All right, do we keep a Zyrella? I don't think so. Let's let's play for Death Rattle consistency first and foremost. Why is this two-two blade good? Uh, the Blade of Queldalar can combine with the Hilt of Queldalar to form Queldalar, which is a crazy weapon that, uh, is a six mana 4-4 four four that does four damage to all enemies when you attack. So, after you attack specifically, I think, but, uh, so it's like eight damage to face and a board clear four turns in a row type of stuff, which can be pretty crazy. If they don't create any anything that demands a reaction here, I might just go do process just to make sure I'm hitting good good plays. Hedge maze is kind of spooky, isn't it? What's that gonna be? Mind flayer could help me get uh, whatever that's going to do or be. Oh, they just have that. Wait, no. Wait, oh, crystal gem. I was like, is that is that location location location? But it's not. It's not. All right. Yeah, I think cards is fine here. We're at eight, which is good. Next turn, I'll probably want a coin. I don't know if they'll want to kill this or not, because they may not want to put the Popsa Cooler out. They might just activate the Popsa Cooler. Um, oh, they do. Okay. I was going to say we could Shadowy it twice if they don't, but I think I'll Shadowy a Plated Beetle, honestly. I don't... Well, I mean, Popsa Cooler is a good Shadowy too, isn't it? I don't know how board-based they're going to be. Like, do I care more about the health on the Beetle or more about the... I mean, maybe I play a Shellfish, and if it sticks, we Shadowy that. What's the hurry? What's the hurry, right? No hurry. Hey, Jay Shinnen! Thanks for the Tier 1. I did kind of want to coin this turn so we don't overdraw with uh, Watchman Dude, but we can just play a Mistress, I guess. Maybe trade an Amulet's a little better. I don't really need the Mistress yet. Amulet we want to pump up for later, so. Uh, okay, so this is a backup plan and we can't uh, can't shadowy the, the Shellfish here. Twilight's is going to have that idiot in it. Oh man, Shard sucks. I swear to God, I cannot get a Shellfish to connect. Everybody goes hard on answering these Shellfish, which... I mean, I mean, I, I think they know our deal, of course, but man, I'm getting frustrated. They didn't activate this, which must mean they have something crazy planned, right? Like, what are they cooking, you know? What are they cooking? That's hard to kill. Honestly, you know what? I'm screwed. I'm going for the mill, man. I don't care. Deal with it. We're going for the mill. Zyrella's in hand. Uh, she'll still activate off the fish, thankfully, which is nice. It doesn't matter if he silenced for her, but... Oh, man, where is my freaking exerciser? I knew I grabbed that for a reason, dude. Oh, God, please give me the exerciser, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, it hit itself. Oh, please give me the exerciser off the top. Please, one time. I'm drawing two cards. One time. Please, one time. One time. One time exerciser, please. Oh, okay. We can just stall for a bit. We don't actually have to deal with this just yet. I mean, I can trade first, I guess. Let's trade. Let's see what the exerciser me, bro. Oh, I saw it. oh interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> well, 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 we have ourselves a little party. <laughs> okay. I don't find Exerciser, we can at least counter with our own Grey Bows. Grey Bows! Oh, no we can't. Okay. Well, we have Adara too. Where is freaking Exerciser, dude? Also, how am I down to five cards? But they're twelve. Oh, they just shuffled a bunch in, of course, duh. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, Adara for next turn. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. That'll work. 
really prefer to solar that, of course, but that's okay. Oh, Zyrella burned. Carge burned, okay. All right. Um, so weirdly, I actually kind of almost need them to have a, a big board when I Adara, uh, which I, I think they there's a chance they might. Yeah, they will, okay. It's better for me to have a big board because I get more fatigue protection that way. Uh, hit, hit that, yes, okay, perfect, okay. That's great. They're not really playing around my Adara particularly well, which is awesome for me. Yeah, this is so perfect. Okay, play one more minion for me, please. Yes, absolutely. Oh, come on. Now's not the time. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, this is 100% the play. Yeah, concede maybe. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. They lost their Zyrella too, so I don't know if they have. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know if they have any 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 more depth here or any more plays here. I'm not sure. I have a fatigue advantage again now, which is nice too. And then the Zyrella is going to make them draw a lot of more cards. So surely between the fatigue advantage and the Greybow advantage and just, oh my God, they're playing their own due process. What? We're playing the same deck. I cannot hold any more cards. Um, do I go for the Zyrella now? Or is this just lethal on board? Five, nine, 12. One off lethal on board, guys. Five, nine, 12. We're not taking fatigue yet. Uh, I guess we don't go Zyrella just yet then, do we? Zyrella does set up lethal with hero power, yes. Eh, maybe it's fine. She actually might set up hero power with fatigue too, honestly. Yeah, it's fine. It's just Zyrella. There's a little bit of healing here left, but that's not it. This too actually is quite a bit of healing, but it still sets us up for the win, I think. I don't actually, there's two new processes going off. So yeah, they're not quite taking fatigue damage yet, but it's it's close. Dude, they are literally running the same deck. Cubes. I didn't think about cubes, guys. Oh, we don't have cubes. They got those in buckets. Yeah, there aren't any cubes available, so no, never mind. No cubes. Uh, we can exercise hit and then fatigue will kill them. And hero power, of course. <laughs> okay, cool. Good win, dude. The Adara bounces there were, were a big deal. They also didn't have a uh, quest, which... Definitely helps. Oh, I didn't even. Oh man. Oh shoot, dude. <laughs> I didn't use fatigue. Dang it. <laughs> they were gonna take a lot of fatigue damage. Whoopsie. Should have let them die to fatigue for fun. I think they were taking six. Oh, mummy magic. Yes. Okay, cool. A heavy armor is actually. Is that what we got last time in this deck? But I don't. I don't. I mean. Oh god. Our hero power is really good for heavy armor. Uh. No, we take mummy magic. I wanted to take mummy magic. This is a really good hero power for for heavy armor, honestly. Because uh, you know, it's it's each each hero power is worth a billion life, basically. But but we're gonna take mummy magic. It's just it, it's the whole game plan. That's why we built the stack. I don't want to throw it now. Yeah, this is perfect. Really, really good. Yeah, the forty health doesn't work with heavy armor, guys. I know everybody's thinking about it. It, it doesn't work. Heavy armor only works on your final ten raw health armor doesn't matter on top of heavy armor and nor does amara unfortunately i guess i can get out ahead of that one a little bit you guys are already jumping to to rash conclusions which are very exciting but yeah unfortunately it doesn't work or perhaps fortunately that that might be pretty broken i'm not sure that's something we want in the game but but regardless uh only the final 10 counts so it'll set you to 40 but the, your, the the 30 on top will go away normally and then it will resume being heavy armor otherwise we would have people manipulating to the 40 health heavy armor endlessly i'm sure wow captured flag okay ultra rare treasures cool 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 can we beat an ultra rare it's a good hand honestly really good mill hand too frankly they're gonna be drawing a lot of cards here which means a lot of book of wonders maybe <laughs> Yeah, can the shellfish actually die with its effect? We've yet to get the shellfish's effect on itself. So I rel the shellfish last game, but can it actually activate on its own? Capture flag is all their minions have plus one, plus one as an aura effect. So anything they summon or play is plus one, plus one. So kind of like greedy gains, but you don't have to pay the, the two mana penalty on played cards. It's just a free buff. Kind of like... Uh, Meek Mastery, but no discount. A few comparisons for you there. Happy to take Shadowy Figure armor gains here. Wow. 
Okay. <sighs> already starting out. Uh, we're already doing this, huh? Shadowy figure's a lot worse now because it doesn't have reborn anymore, so we'll probably go Dancing Swords next turn. Might go Shadowy Explosive Sheep on four. Depends on how much pressure we're under. I don't know. Yeah, that's actually true. Yeah, it is exactly like your hero is a Stormwind champion. Yes, I never thought about that before. That's a funny... It should almost be called like the Stormwind flag or something as a result of that. That's that's really interesting. What a, what a cool observation. Can we trade this in just to play around hero power value? I mean, they're going to trade these in hero power anyway, right? But that might make it a little easier for me. I don't know. Nothing else... Oh, God. I forgot it buffs it, though. Oh, God. I literally forgot what the card did. Okay, well, that's not a good idea then. <laughs> I, take, I take it back. Scratch that game plan. There it is going face. Even better. You'll love to see it. Wow, great news. That just worked out perfectly for us. All right, we're getting really close to Amara already, though, so I'm not as worried about the face attacks. I mean, I'm a little worried, don't get me wrong, but not as worried. I don't think they're going to get there in time pre-Amara. Ooh, that's a good hit. All right. I mean, God, they're getting they're getting far along though. Shoot, Bertolin, force that. We probably hit face then in that case, right? Dude, shadowy amulet is pretty cool. I also don't hate a hero power here, but I think the taunt is probably better. I lost damage from explosive, but save against flame ward. So this, you know, assuming they kill this to to attack or whatever. Oh my dude! Oh my god! Now I can't make, I can't make and play Amara next turn. I was gonna say, I, I will usually be able to make and play Amara next turn because this will die as they attack and then I'll get the Amara naturally. But now I can't kill off the shellfish and play an Amara. Your signature <sighs> oh yeah, and they got, they got three tokens with flag too. Yes, excellent additional point. I probably just lose now because I can't play Amara on time. Are you kidding me, man? That's so frustrating. <sighs> this is a little too much mana. All of this stuff. I must not fail. <sighs> Dude, I hate losing duels runs like uh, games like this because it's it just leaves us no flexibility for a future game. What is their damage output? 10, 13, and 6, 19. <sighs> can like try to heal through it all and stuff, but it's gonna be really tough. Did the amulet have anything with like taunt? Had a plated beetle that won't die though. You know what would be really good is a naturalize. Well, not after I trade though, it won't be. Shenanigans. Okay, cool, dude. Great. Honestly, it does help me kill another taunt potentially. Or not, I lied. I'm still gonna hit this for the for the sheep if I'm not dead here, which I think oh my God, the Sheep also got countered so I st oh no, it still counted. Okay. 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 Much like a battle cry counts. It still counts Okay, so if I'm not dead here. Oh My god that hits me in the face. I swear to god. Oh, that's good. Oh great good save me three life That might be good, too. Oh, yes, my trade actually mattered. Yes. Paladin Secrets, gross. So I have a dilemma. Am I going to have to Adara or Amara? I probably have to Adara first, unfortunately, because if I Amara and leave them with 20 damage, if I really accomplish anything, right? It depends on if they trade or hit face here, because I could Adara and maybe still die to like burst damage is the problem. So I'll have to make a decision what my health is and like how safe I feel. Because they know I have a Mara now, so they might start trading instead of going face, because they're like, oh, he's going to go back to 40 anyway. So I might as well just clear his board, right? Oh, nope, they don't think that. Okay. So Amara plus Shadowy. Well, I don't know. I'm at nine for the Adara. Is that okay? But do we need to test objection? I can't really test objection. I got to do this to test objection, I guess, and play Amara. Sucks though, because I'm not really clearing much of the board. It's really tough. Only clearing a 2-3 and a 3-1. Well, I guess we don't even know that for sure, because it could be a noble sack. Oasis ally is also pretty annoying. I mean, the 8-8 here is definitely a relevant body. That's good. This is Zyrella next turn, which, I mean, what do we have in the Zyrella? Anything good yet? 
It's gonna be a couple shellfish. It's got, uh, oh, some plated beetles are good. Oh, the sheep are really good. The sheep could deal four to the board. Oh, that's really nice. Oh no, only, no, the sheep never died. It got kidnapped. Oh my God, you're kidding me. There's no sheep. Okay, um, so it's plated beetles. <laughs> uh, they're probably deciding if they wanna just let this five five connect or still trade through a little bit. I would definitely at least set up to kill the Amara with it, I think. It is going to take out some some two health stuff really nicely, though. Yeah, that, that's smart to me. I got to do the same there. Um, you don't need to do that, though. It was going to die for free. I guess if they want face damage, they do. Oh, oh, they're going to kill the back halves of these. Okay, I see. That's reasonable as well, I guess. I mean, is, are they like milling out here by any, oh, that's really nice. Oh, sick. Okay. I mean, is Zyrella here just gonna just mill them to death at this stage? I don't know what's real cards versus what's, how, how many, I've had, I've had four, four dudes. That's eight cards drawn. Zyrella heals me a ton. They take, they, they, they're into three fatigue already. I can naturalize next turn and ping face. I feel like this is really, really a good play. Honestly, I feel very safe here. <gasps> oh, they drew another two off double cross. You're kidding. That's actually so gross. Torch gone. Oh my God. Sunken Ritual, of course, was down there. We forgot. The double cross is gross. Wow. Oh, we forgot about dancing swords times two. Are they dead? They might be dead. This might be lethal because of the double cross. Yeah, they're dead. Wow. Actually insane. Wow. What a win, dude. I thought we were doomed. Wow, that was fun. Okay, I'm, I'm in on this deck, boys. Let's go. Book of the Dead's pretty good. We need more board clears, I think. That's nice. Hyper Blaster, I honestly don't hate, but I think Book of the Dead's better for us. Wow, wow, wow. Cool, cool, cool. This is perfect. Yeah, great. Honestly, this isn't too bad either, but this is better. Dead Ringer is really nice. I mean, we do risk having pretty full hands, but but really just Cold Light and, and that uh, due process and that other guy, the other Murloc are the problems for that. Ooh, do we keep Zyrella, guys? She's been so powerful and she's so hard to get. I, th I think we might. Our deck's so big at this stage. I don't want to lose a good one of. Ooh, these are good follow-up death rattles, but not good starter death rattles. I need a good starter death rattle here. Been a good, awesome Saturday for college football. So much fun stuff happened or is happening. Well, well tell us about it. Uh, oh, that's a great starter. Okay. Do we actually hold this to play with the shadowy figure, I wonder? Just to make sure we have a good connection. I don't know. It's so sticky as a reborn. I doubt it. Oh, two though. And you really don't want to miss. Yeah, we'll just coin it next turn. That's fine. How did did Kentucky play? I, I you know, I, I like Kentucky basketball. I don't know if I care much about Kentucky football, but I can't really say I care much about Kentucky basketball lately either, to be honest, but theoretically anyway. What did Tennessee? You guys are talking about Tennessee. They beat Bama or something? Did they like rush the field? Like what happened? I don't know who they're playing, so, you know, just Bama being the, the biggest target, I would say. Yes, exactly. Oh, wow, okay. And there are not too many things you'd rush the field for, but... Uh, Courage on that's probably not very exciting, right? I think we just tidy this guy up. A little bit worried that the, 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 their guy, the... This plus the, the, the patron guy is pretty spooky. I don't have a good answer to that right now. So we can trade a little, but not much. Hopefully if they have that, we might just be dead. I don't know. It's not that easy to get the patron guy at this stage though. 21 cards, right? I don't mind them spinning man on pings. That's not a problem. They beat Bama and dismantled the goalposts 
goal posts and were walking with them across the field into the seats. That's pretty wild. Okay, this is a good re recovery here. Do they... Yeah, they use their weapon, so down to one charge. So they're probably not going to be using weapon much from here on out. But a good full clear, good card draw. That's not a bad turn at all, I'd say. I think they should be quite pleased with that turn. I really don't like my plays here. Shellfish next turn is pretty cool, I guess. Light Shower is going to be a useful card in general in this matchup, I think, because we're going to have some damage problems eventually. Hopefully they play something pretty cool here and I can go Karge into Shadowy. Oh, man. That's annoying. Well, that's what we talked about, and I don't have an answer for it, so... Might just be dead. Adara is the only good answer in the entire deck, honestly. I mean, God, I'm like literally dead on board. I'm actually dead on board, right? There's six remaining. This can buff one to seven. And then this is another, another three is 35 damage. I'm currently just dead on board. So I need to find a taunt or something. Wow. Okay, that's technically enough to stay alive, I guess. Then I can Amara next turn. They don't have a silence or something. I'm not in a good place, but I'm not technically dead. Uh, I really need to find a Dara though. If we're gonna win like this, and of course, any any rush stuff or charge stuff is still gonna present an issue here. Can I get away with light showers next turn instead of Amara? We'll have to do some math. Maybe might be willing to take a risk, basically to stay on curve and better bridge into my next turn. Ooh, Crab Rider's really nice, man. Wait. Is Crab Rider lethal? Am I nuts? I think it was, right? It could have double traded. It was going to six, hit, and then hit, and then ping a dude. I, th I think that was a lethal. Anyway, is let's see. This is a heal 16, so that puts me at 26. Crab Rider hits weapon hits let's say that's 25 31 yeah it's not enough of course i have to amara but it sucks i'm just gonna die again oh dude a sheep would be so good if i could naturalize it oh my god dude please let me find naturalize next turn for that sheep wow please i have any other way to activate the sheep immediately or is it just naturalize probably just naturalize right oh dude oh book of the dead's coming up too maybe book of the dead could be another out too <laughs> I gotta watch clips of the Tennessee win. That sounds hilariously fun. I could get a Dara off the top too, right? That I mean, we're still gonna be low. We're gonna take a ton of damage. So I'd still be nervous about charge minions and stuff, but that's another way to help me stabilize the board at least. Whatever is in hand is getting monster big too. If I solar naturalize the sheep, do I get both death rattles? If I just naturalize it, no. But if I solar naturalize it, maybe? I don't know. Am I dead to that... Uh this guy i might be dead jeez louise wow plus two health actually wrecks me man i'm dead it's going to 16 damage it's crazy good good outs from them man i think they mislead the last turn but this was a good spot I, I, i'm not totally sure they did i didn't you know didn't double check but it seemed like that would have cleared the the taunt and they had enough i think we decided although i'm not sure uh okay i think honestly mage armor i mean hunter's insight we do have some pretty big hands sometimes hunter's insight might be worth more we have a lot of life gain normally let's do that okay that's a death rattle but the other cards kind of suck i mean faceless has some utility for us these are really bad i kind of like this more though honestly just a little removal mixed in with our death rattles seems seems important and all these cards i'm kind of over them Solar Twilight's Call is really, really cool, but I I don't think it's worth it. Let's try to find other good early game death rattles. Man, we keep finding the wrong parts of the deck. There aren't that many non-death rattle parts of this deck, but we keep managing to dig them out every single freaking time. These are okay, I guess. This guy's big, at least. Really, really need my ones and twos, though. Gonna get overrun by early... Yeah, it's always double shadowy figure and double carge in our opener, man. Give me the good stuff. 
I don't have a good reset against these divine shields. I guess an exerciser would be pretty cool to keep them in check, but the way the exerciser works, it actually buffs them when you attack. <laughs> it silences off the shield, which then gives them stats that don't get silenced off, as I recall. Isn't that right, chat? I think that's true, isn't it? Maybe we just Hunter's Insight next turn, because I don't think this hand's that discount worthy. Yeah, chat says that's true, yeah. That's what I thought, it's really weird, right? Cold Light Coin Hunters might be the move here. It's really putting me behind on board though. Am I gonna have time to recover? I need like taunts and, and like little disruptive stuff and then swing into an Adara. I will say they're definitely not going super hard on, on board yet, which is nice. Okay, Book of the Dead's a good reset potentially. Uh, if I coin now, am I playing a Mistress of Mixtures? Probably yes, but it's worth doing now, I think. I just want to get a lot of stats into play, basically. As much as I can, as quickly as I can. The Death's Head Cultists are really nice because they're really good at stalling, and then that gives me time to find my good stuff. Adara gives me time to pump the Book of the Dead, gives me time to get to Amara. I'm still a little worried, though, that I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to turn the corner against this deck. He's currently just... If, well, because of me, got a lot of cards and a lot of value. So it's hard to... Hard to get around that sometimes. Hard to get through all that value. <sighs> that thing's hard to kill too, honestly, already. It's annoying. Do I like plated beetle copies because they're better later for Zyrella? Or do I like death said cultist copies because they are more interrupting of the opponent's stuff? I think I need the interruption, right? More than anything. Also, probably feeds the book a little bit more consistently as well. I don't think I can hit this stuff yet. I just don't have clean numbers at all. Don't even kill that. <laughs> it goes to five, so I don't even kill it. It's kind of gross. It's like all this healing is obviously excess, but I'm hoping that the taunts matter. Just kind of stall them out for a minute or two. My hand's really bad right now, though. Don't give the taunt divine shield again, please. Ugh. What do I do now, man? Can I get a Book of the Dead this turn? Trade off five and then... I guess I actually can, right? Or no, I just trade off six, which is exactly what I have. Is that right? Just to take a reset? I mean, I'll still have some board left. It won't be much board, but it'll be a little. This might sting. Can that really be the right play? Well, I, I'm only I'm not killing much though. I'm, I'm only, I, cause I can't get through the taunts to the back halves. There's no way that's the right play yet. <sighs> Gosh, dang it, man. Oh, I'm just buffing these if I, exercise how gross is that <laughs> i mean I, I i silence like but 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 then i can't attack these because they don't have taunt guys like it doesn't do anything i can't attack them I'm just gonna have to wait again because well i mean w with other minions i should say right i guess actually this one no it doesn't die this one would die actually if i hit it right Maybe this one I should have attacked because it goes to 1-1 one, one, and then it goes back to 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, this is the only one I can actually kill, which now I won't be able to, unfortunately. But I could have hit this one and killed it. Again, I'll just remind if you weren't here at the beginning of the game, when you when you attack a Divine Shield with this, it gets rebuffed. The Divine Shield goes away. The, the already buffed stats go away and then it gets buffed another time. So this would go to a 3-3 three, three if I had attacked it, for instance, which... Um, also now I can just kill it, of course. So this goes to four health if I attack it. I cannot kill it at four. Uh, so Book of the Dead now, though, becoming a little more interesting. Although these still go to nine each. So I wouldn't be able to quite kill kill that. But I could attack it with a silence after. Book of the Dead, I'd almost rather it be cheap, though, right? We wouldn't mind it getting a little cheaper first. I must not fail. Just gonna keep, I'm going to keep to my game plan here. Almost dead though. I need to be really careful not to die because I don't have a lot of taunts left. 13. Yeah, boy. 
I'm almost dead. I don't know. This might be too risky. There's taunts. Okay. Here's the Amara. Okay. So this should be... I'm hoping a Book of the Dead's good soon, but I don't know, man. I really need Adara. This game plan's so weird. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. A lot of the stuff outside of Taunt is currently 7, which is good. Like, this, that feels like a good breakpoint, right? Although that got re -taunt. Yeah, all the stuff outside of the Taunts are currently 7, so... This actually looks really nice, right? So if I hit this, it'll go back to seven, right? Um, and then I can hit this a few times and then hit this a couple times. And I think we can clear, right? That was the one when I killed it. Yeah, I know. Oh, solar book too. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Solar book. Uh, solar book's not actually really that nice though, guys. Well, I guess it is if I pop the shields first, huh? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, okay. That's the move. Solar book's insane, dude. Solar book's insane. What a draw, by the way. Oh my god, what a draw. What an insane draw. Oh my god. Actually, don't really need this yet, right? We can do this. I think we're better off actually getting this for more draw. Don't really need the tie yet. What an insane draw. Solar off the top saves the game, honestly, dude. Holy crap. Oh my god. Wow. My patience was actually rewarded. I called it from turn one too. Not not literally the solar book, right? But I said, we need to just stall, stall, stall until I can take a big reset turn. And that's exactly what we freaking did, dude. Oh my God, actual legend, I think. Um. Okay, so that will die if I hit it. These will not, these will go to four. <sighs> um. I, I do want to trade this in though, kind of and see what happens. I guess if I hit it first and then silence it, it'll die. Let's see what happens here. How many like lethal outs do I? Six, eight, 11? No. Actually, I don't really want them getting shells anymore, by the way. Sheep. Oh, huh. I guess I just play these. Fine. Same plan, right? You can kind of hit face now, right? Okay, 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 same plan, just buying time. Really need to find a Zyrella, need to find an Adara. Might be able to just kill them if we're smart about it here soon. Um, quite a bit of damage coming through, honestly. <laughs> when you hit the one one taunt, why didn't it get buff first? It had lost its divine shield, I, I already said that. It was, it was a 6-6 six, six with no divine shield when I hit it. So, um, if they have shield, it'll get buffed after I hit it or, or in. So, so again, if I hit this right now, it'll silence off the shield and it will become a six, four and I'll hit a six, four. It's confusing. I, I don't feel bad by the way. It's, it's very confusing. Uh, how much damage do I have here? Eight, 10, 12, 15. Is it worth drawing or do I just do this one more time? The problem is these guys start healing them a little bit, which is annoying. Um, the 6-6 six, six I hit did not have divine shield. It, it absolutely did not. I'll I'll pull up the replay if you want. I, I could pull up the replay or just watch the VOD back. It, it was just a 6-6 six, six with no divine shield. It started with a divine shield, but when I hit it, it didn't have divine shield anymore. I think this is enough, right? Hopefully. I'm a little worried on the healing here, but I don't think it's going to be enough healing. Um, I'm wondering if I hit face here or hold my weapon. This might be enough healing though, honestly. So I can clear this if we want, but I don't think it's worth it, right? I think I wait. This, this has the potential to clear a lot of their board and create some really awkward scenarios for them. <coughs> oh, that's a little healing too. That's frustrating. Uh, okay, so a 4 2 as well. This kills something. Hopefully, it hasn't attacked. The 8 6 would be primo. <sighs> oh, good hit. Yes. Okay. This hits the 6 4, hopefully. Oh, that's good too. That's good too. Okay. So they can kill these and this to heal, but will it be enough? I don't know. Oh, wow. Even more healing. Jeez. Okay. Is that. Is this. Uh. uh 
Yeah, that wasn't enough. I think they had to maybe hit this. Wow. Dude, this deck keeps just digging its way out of garbage scenarios. Actually crazy. <laughs> God, even the duels master is trolling me. Regis, why don't you use your weapon to clear the divine shield? Oh my god, dude. We, <laughs> dude, it's all we've been talking. I know you're trolling right now. Good to see you, by the way, man. Good to see you. Every time I see your face on Twitter, makes me both happy to see you and sad to see you not playing Hearthstone. Uh, or, well, you may be playing Hearthstone, but not designing Hearthstone, let's say. Oh god, what do we take here? Oh boy. Uh, I guess I like Moonlit Guidance a lot. Nature Studies is a pretty good card. Swipe's not bad either. Swipe's not bad. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this. How's this run going? It's honestly been pretty cool. Man, if we could win, like, one more game, I would almost say it's a YouTube run. It's a little short right now for a main channel YouTube run, but... Man, if we could get one more game out of it, I would be pretty pumped. This seems like a good card against Rogue, by the way. Death Set Cultist could be really nice. <sighs> Mirage Caller has some good plays, too. Yeah, a Wand would be a, another good addition for this deck. Yeah, we got Book for removal and Adara, and we're really light otherwise. We're just kind of stalling out always. Maybe could have ran a... Well, Swipe might help a little, but not exactly perfect, you know? Can somebody pull up a clip, by the way, of that stupid minion that was not Divine Shielded that I hit, just so we can talk about it? <laughs> like, ooh, Sheep's fun. I just like having a turn two death rattle, right? So Mill is going to be pretty risky against a deck that's both running BR Guess and I presume a really aggressive package. So I don't think we're going to want to mill too much. I think we're mostly, mostly going to want to push as, as much death rattle advancement as we can and taunts are good. So this is pretty nice to see. Uh, would love to get this off, but I don't think we wait till turn six. I don't I don't think we can risk that. It's taking a billion damage already, man. Jeez Louise, sir. Prep. Prep to combo the weapon again. Oh my god, dude. This guy is all in, dude. And get a secret out. Wow. What an actual mad lad. So we know the Death's Head dies. Is there ever a world where I think I can get away with a hero power? I, I don't think so. The Mirage Caller is going to be good later. It's not like the Mirage Caller is dead if it, if it doesn't hit a Death's Head Cultist. There are obviously going to be targets. Okay, a Sap. All right, sure. I don't really mind the sap so much. It's coming back, dude. It, you know, like it ain't. I mean, it's it's healing eight at some point. I think. Hopefully, we'll still play on curve here for the tortolan though. Uh, I think we can go ahead and clear that. That's fine. I don't want to get greedy on those because they're probably not running too many awful minions, and any kind of bounce or something could be really scary. So hero power death set on five seems fine. Uh, honestly, like grave rune into mirage caller if something stuck around would be amazing. How can she sap? Wow, dude. <laughs> it's incredible reference and amazing pun. Uh, um, actually amazing. Ooh, that's gross. Okay, that's scary. Need a naturalize. Need a naturalize. At least they can't get tests, right? Doesn't it say specifically? Oh, I don't know what it says, actually. What does it say? Yeah, from another class. Okay, so no tests. That's the important thing here. All right, I think, uh, yeah, since they didn't kill this, I think we can go for Mirage Caller here. Are we worried about Shadow Clone or any of these cards? Not really, right? So let's attack face. I would prefer Mirage Caller on Death's Head Cultist, so maybe I could just go Grave Rune here, but that's really susceptible to another Sap style effect. Do they have that weapon, like the, the turtle? That would absolutely blow me out, right? I think I'd rather just hero power and Mirage Caller. I'm not gonna get greedy on the Grave Runes. This could be a good play. Let's just chill though. I think just having taunts alone is, is pretty nice. Tortolan Shell, that's the one. You know it. You know the one I'm talking about. The healing will come organically off Amara. I, I, you know, I, I'm ready for Amara literally as soon as these die. So I don't have to force healing on Death's Head necessarily. The shapes of these minions is really awkward for them too. It's like, yes, of course they can kill this one, but it feels terrible. So I'm assuming that's a sticky situation, right? Might be a dirty tricks just to get some card draw, but they would have had to get that in a bucket, right? Yeah, it's from Outland, so probably a sticky. Si Did it say where it was from? We don't I didn't notice it's not generated or anything. Was it off Wand Thief? No, it's Mage cards. I am still crossed that the shell was nerfed. 
<laughs> I was not. <laughs> I thought it was pretty reasonable. <laughs> it seemed okay to me. How do these death rattles work? Does this stuff get buffed? No, it doesn't. But we do have an Amara. Hanar, wow, that's fun. Okay. Do we go for the Amara here? I don't really have to yet. Amara Grave Rune's actually kind of a cool play just to get some 8-8 taunts. I don't know if it's better than the Reborn though. Uh, I mean, they're not really actually gonna play off, off Hanar, right? So I think we can kill the Lady in White. Thinking uh, Swipe's also kind of interesting here, but doesn't leave me a lot of plays to make. Uh, and I think again, that's probably gonna give them a dirty trick. So if I can avoid playing spells, I might like it. I think I'm gonna avoid playing spells. I think I'm just gonna play some more death rattles and not be greedy. The Dancing Sword's a bit of a liability because again, I don't really want to give them cards. Maybe a hero power is better. I just like having some stats out though. So we'll see. Uh, if they don't deal with the 4-6, uh, it's a pretty good Grave Rune target, naturally. Kill the Hanar. Anything here that's really scary? Dual class spells? Nature studies? Uh, I don't know, some, some might be scarier next turn than this turn, I guess, but this turn in particular. Uh, they can kill this 4-6, by the way, if they want. I mean, holding on to this weapon forever. Do I ever just take a Book of the Dead, man? I don't know. Yeah, they're gonna kill it, okay. Sure seems wrong to play Hanar, doesn't it? Just doesn't feel right at all. All right, I guess we're gonna give him dirty tricks now. We're a little, we're a little into this. I need to find here a, I don't know, man. My, my problem with, with, our, with our game plan here moving forward is like, how am I, uh, like, yeah, I'm starting to stabilize health, but if I start giving them a ton of cards, they're gonna keep getting more and more stuff. You know, uh, like the mill plan is really starting to backfire a little bit, I think. Let's see if it's dirty tricks. That'll help me make a decision a little bit. Infiltrators, another nice taunt, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's sticky, okay, good. It's not dirty tricks. Okay, that actually makes me really happy. Uh, okay, I guess we killed this since they didn't activate the spell burst, huh? Like we don't we don't want them getting a a thing. No reason to book of the dead yet. We'll save that for emergencies. So they're back to five. This will put them at six cards. You know how do I get this game into a late game state? That's that's winning is what I don't know what to do. Oh, runic carvings. Okay, I get it. It's a board. All right, may I actually be a book of the dead worthy sort of play? Oh, they took rush. I didn't think they were moving. Let's see. Hit the three, four. Nice. Um, I guess we'll start with a trade. I mean, now Grave Rune convincing feels very safe. Oh, Zyrella's insane. Uh, that's nine mana. So let's see if we can't find something here to do that's a little more interesting. Amara still feels a little unnecessary to me. <sighs> no, no good plays. I guess we just do this. Huh? Feels weird. Um to sit on this Amara forever, but why not? So Zyrella has a lot of death rattles. <laughs> I don't know, we got sheeps, we got uh, dancing swords, a lot of healing off death said cultists. We got some crazy convincing infiltrators, Tortolans, plated beetles in here, it seems. Again, I'm a little, like, I'm, I'm thinking about saps. Like, I still don't really want a grave rune just yet, you know? Oh my god. Okay, well, that's annoying. <laughs> Do I ever just Adara that because I don't want to deal with it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I really don't want to deal with it, to be honest. Not that scary, though only two attack okay naturalize again more mill stuff if i'm gonna mill i'm gonna want to do it in one big swoop i think uh cold light oracle here not my favorite i think we just be patient right what, what's the hurry take a reset soon they're not likely to actually kill this convincing infiltrator so now that they've got some cards in hand, maybe they'll commit to the board. We can wipe it out with Adara, kind of start over again. Okay, that's that's some commitment. Not a lot, because a lot of that'll die, but 
Oh, it's debuffed by Lady in White. At first I was like, wait, did they nerf Kamatoa? Did I forget? Am I having a stroke? <laughs> uh, Lady in White, got it. Stag charge? Okay, Dormant's not good for Adara, unfortunately. That is also, unfortunately, their best guy, but they're still playing this really defensively right now, which is good. So we can probably just take another gap turn here. Swipe's also pretty decent, honestly. I don't I don't think we want to get too greedy with the with the swipe. Uh yeah. This is fine. Unintended consequences. I mean, is it time to cold light? Like they're getting a lot of cards anyway. I kinda want them to commit into Adara. <clears throat> I don't really have to do anything. I'm I'm actually gonna cold light, guys. I think it's time to cold light. I'm not feeling a ton of pressure. <coughs> I am choking to death, though. <laughs> yeah, it's up in my throat. Oh, <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Gosh, sorry, guys. <coughs> Man, I'm losing it. Don't die. I'm, I'm trying. I promise I'm trying. Okay, assassinate's fine. It's not an important threat to us anyway. Oh, no, not my two, three. Okay, four to the face. Moving back to face attacks. Now, I do need to be careful because technically their hand could just be full of like crazy burst damage and then I risk dying if I'm not like careful or take too many little chip hits. Like I just took some chip hits. I uh, I don't want to just randomly die. So we don't want to like ever leave a board too risky. Now that said, I don't, I don't think we're there yet, of course. Doesn't seem to me we're in that position. <sighs> I mean, just trade solar naturalized kind of seems okay. Maybe finish with a Twilight's Call and a hero power. Swipe is swipes fine too. Yeah, swipes okay. Could 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 eat the Carrage and then swipe, and then even if it dies, I get a I get a convincing back. Uh. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're gonna get a much better swipe than this. The question is, is the is the card best right now? I don't know. Not bad. Oh yeah, we can swipe face. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, if I want the convincing up immediately, yeah, I'm cool with this. This, this is fine. I'm cool with the, I'm cool with the, the the convincing up. We like convincing infiltrators. It's all good. Eh, not exactly a home run, but a little disruptive taunt and heal again is not bad. This, this heal going off actually would uh, enable my hero power again, which could be nice. Oh, Book of the Dead. They've been chilling on a Book of the Dead this whole time, huh? Okay, we got one too. Little extra damage. I feel like Xyrella soon's probably, it's not bad. I start getting hero powers to weave in. What's the, what's the health total whereby I'm scared, by the way? Shadow Word Death, okay, keep that in mind for Amara. When do I have to respect my health total? I don't think it's 30, right? I mean, there are cards here that have been in hand for a while, but I just don't think they deal 30. It doesn't feel like 30 to me. 29, huh? I think it's 29. <laughs> um, I think, man, I want to heal, but I also want to draw a card here. I feel like I'm going to get a better play if I draw, right? Hope 30 is okay, guys. <sighs> man, I really wanted to use Zyrella on a turn where I need to heal more and clear a board. Just doing absolutely nothing here. I sure hope 30 is okay, man. We're taking a little bit of a risk, honestly. This is not incredibly safe always, but I don't think the like monster burst potential is that high in this deck. I think it's more about, you know, they just use Book of the Dead too, so that would have been some of the surprise crazy burst. There could be something off, you know, a, a legendary invitation that's, that's crazy burst, but I wouldn't be shocked to take 20 necessarily, or, you know, 15 to 20, 30 would surprise me. Now that said, once they push me down to 20 or 25 here, I'm probably gonna play Zyrella as a board reset. We've got all those convincing infiltrators, all those um, crazy uh, death's head cultists and stuff that I'd like to play, so. And then I get hero powers too, which of course that hero power is much more high output. It is less draw, but which I do need cards, honestly. I, I don't know, man. Kind of, kind of sad to, kind of sad to give away that hero power. So maybe I would Amara first, just to make sure I keep my card draw access open. 
We are actually technically behind in fatigue right now, but Adara can fix that and I can make them draw a lot of cards all at once, so. I'm not as worried about that. Mara doesn't answer these especially well is the only thing. You can Book of the Dead these. Any idea what this is, by the way? I have no idea what it is. I feel like we've tested nothing. <sighs> yeah, Zyrella kills him, but I, like I just said, I, I don't think I'm ready to give up this hero power quite yet. I, I, save book, but I don't want to leave these out. I think they just kill Zyrella for, or Amara for free and then hit me for eight. I, well, they've even got a Shadow or Death, we know, so they can just kill Amara and hit for eight for sure. Uh, I'm going to use this. We have Adara and Zyrella that are both insane board clears, guys. I, I think it's fine to use this now. I just want to make sure I don't take a bunch of free damage here. Not healing, though, man. Okay, I'm actually, I am going to Amara still. 25 is just scary enough. I just don't want to take the eight afterwards, right? So I think clearing is worth it is the moral of that story. I don't know, 20, 27 is probably enough, honestly. I don't know, man. It's really hard to know. Is that someone with Book of Wonders? Fill their board with random minions and then get every fin is awesome on top. Yikes. Oh, they use the death instead on the 7-7, seven, seven, of course. Okay. thought they would value pushing through the taunt more, but not yet, it seems. Maybe they wanted more cards and more choices. I get it. Assassin's Blade, man, okay. Deadly weapons, wowza. That's big and poisonous. Oh, that's not fun. Shoot. Oh, not Zyrella though. Okay, I think I'd rather have Zyrella, honestly. So it's probably good news. Light shower, probably a little overkill, but not bad. I ever like grave rune this feels so bad shard just to trade turn it into some resources here i guess amulet to trade is really nice okay shadowy figure i mean we're definitely into the mill mode right we're into the mill mode solar grave rune is actually really fun to be honest uh i don't hate that i don't hate that uh I think it's greedy though. I want to solar naturalize, but I, I, yeah, I think these are big enough that it's worth it. Yeah, I'll do this. I'll do this. Is this double cross? It'd be really nice if it was. Oh, no? one extra damage. What an idiot. <laughs> Stupid lady in white. Um, so these each summon two grave runed copies. Um, which, I mean, that's a lot of stat. I mean, they're 23, right? So if they don't handle this, okay, like if they leave me with, you know, 28 damage and guys, they're going to be in trouble. And they're also just now really thinking about mill potentially, because this is, um, each of these represent drawing six cards. The, the, this puts them in fatigue if they don't handle these some other way, you know, if, they, if they're able to actually all die. Okay, that's a lot of trading in that we can do. Oh, I would have maybe hit that seven one. I don't know. for nine here i mean i feel like i might have lethal with death rattles here maybe uh, i guess not quite because these aren't dying off enough quite yet um shard hit for like 12 is also pretty interesting i mean just even a naturalized solar naturalized here is pretty cool too kind of like that with a light shower i think i like that a bit more Sudden betrayal is maybe good for me. I gotta decide if I wanna sack these or not. Like, you know, like, do I actually want these to die? Probably, because it just makes them burn a billion cards, right? It's like I'm making suboptimal lines just so they draw a million more cards. Yeah. I'm gonna hold this. I don't think I wanna trade it yet. Okay. Cloak, okay, that's fun. Down to two, so Zyrella, I mean, just, if they don't clear this board, I just hit them for a billion. It's actually, Sudden Betrayal is kind of handy because it makes them draw more. Might be worth more damage overall because Zyrella goes off then for a crazy total. Um, Vampiric Fangs, okay, that's a good heal. It's not bad for them. Oh, Invitation, can they get like a Deathwing here? 
Well, that made it be bad. I don't know what they want. <laughs> they need a silence of some kind, maybe. An AoE silence. Oh, Rustwick's actually pretty good. I can silence the Rustwicks, though. That's not a big problem. Um, I think, are they just going to die on board, right? I'm a little sad. I kind of wanted to win via mill. But, they, well, they're not technically dead on board, I guess. I have 28, tw 31. They're at 33. So, we think that's a sudden betrayal, right? We think that's a sudden betrayal. I think they're dead to Zyrella here. Because they drew another four, and then Zyrella's gonna make them draw eight billion and do God God knows what else, right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I think they're almost always super dead to Zyrella here. Very super mega dead. Doesn't take much. Dude, this deck is actually somehow winning a lot as a mill deck. Oh, I forgot some extra damage there. Oh, no. Oh, you know what? They are going to get some mistresses, maybe? Or maybe we haven't played our mistress. It looks like it's still in deck. I don't know. Sheep. Oh, sheep might kill these off and make them draw even more. Can you imagine? Dude, this deck's cool, guys. <laughs> I don't think we're going to go very deep, but I'm really proud of this deck working at all, you know? It's really fun. There it is. Booped. Booped. They're going to take another eight on their own turn. I mean, how much overkill here? Oh, those guys could have maybe kept them alive with some good ordering. I forgot we had all those uh, Hinge Clan Shade Quills in there. I don't think it was ever going to be enough, though, because as you can see, they're just taking another... Another chill 17 there. Another chill 21 here. I think we, I think we overkilled them by about a billion. Uh, give or take a billion. I don't know what it is exactly, but give it, give or take a billion extra damage. Jeez, dude. Another casual 29 damage there. Oh, heal five. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my god, that animation. I don't know why it didn't end years ago. Yeah, I wish I wish I knew what the number was too. Dude, this deck's cool. That was a really fun game too, man. That was a 25 minute game. That was really fun. Uh, Holy Book kind of makes the most sense. I don't love how expensive it is though. Might take Blood Moon. So we've been getting some pretty good wide boards on average. Might take Blood Moon. I think that's probably more reliable. Uh, no. Triple Goru, very fun, but not for us. Dude, this deck going to five. I'm really proud of this, guys. This is a cool deck. Even if we lose here, I think this might be a YouTube run because a couple of those wins were really cool. Really atypical ways to win in duels. Five wins for this deck, so success, I think. But anyway, let's, uh, let's look for better early death rattles. I don't think the Shade Quill is good enough. I think I need... This deck typically pumps out a ton of damage. I think I want Mistress. I want Play to Beetle. I want Death Set Cultist in particular. Ring of Black Ice. Never played it in my life, but very happy to see all three of those cards. Okay, great opener here. We probably still go Dead Ringer uh, on two, uh, just because it's on curve. And then go Shadowy Mistress on three, especially if they've already hit me in the face. If they haven't hit me in the face quite yet, we'll have to think about it. Because th th this actually does kind of showcase a little bit of like value maybe they just didn't care about their second passive and just took this, this only option maybe they're just winning off the typical aggression of this deck what is ring of black eyes whenever a minion is frozen add a copy to your hand it's basically murabi as a free passive i've never seen it work for anyone because it's just too value driven you know there are similar uh passives like like eerie stone for warlock it does the same thing, but it makes it cost two less. I think you could almost do that with Ring of Black Eyes. If they cost two less and it gave you a little tempo back, I think it would really help. Okay, so they haven't hit me quite as much yet. I wonder if we can get away with the Dancing Swords. My big fear there, though, is that the Mistress of Mixtures might not really die very easily. Maybe we do something like this. Ooh, that's good to see, because that forces the action. Okay. Maybe we do something like this. Um... In other words, don't copy it quite yet because we may not really care about it being copied all that much. It may end up being a bit of a throwaway. This might force them to kill the mistress first because they don't want to do damage that does nothing. But they may also say, I'm never ever going to kill those mistress of mixtures, so screw you, you're never going to kill them. 
which um yeah we'll see they, they may be right they may never play minions but then i'll just rely on my taunts and stuff hopefully to get by instead because we have quite a few taunts here this is an excellent turn five taunt setup for instance in a weird way i almost maybe should have taken more damage although these heal eight well no it's oh earth shock okay perfect we're gonna take a lot more damage yes that makes the death's shadowy worth a lot more here umberwing oh i thought that was going to the mistress at first but no they know where the they know where the bread is buttered if you will but this is thankfully an excellent follow-up i hope to god they don't have a wand of disintegration chilling up there because if so we might actually be a little bit cooked that might do us in otherwise we're probably quite good to go cross shock's not a big problem okay hey lcs how are tonight's runs going um started slow but this one's actually going pretty well honestly a little better so far anyway pleasantly surprised okay book of the dead's fun follow-up uh let's start here mistress is one of those where i do want it to die and they may not really play that many minions to trade it into but at the same time I know these are going to heal me next turn anyway, so there's not really a lot of upside into doing it just yet, you know? I'm going to hold off on this guy because... I'll tell you why. Uh, because... What am I actually going to play here? I haven't, I haven't thought about it yet. Shoot. Uh, should have maybe traded first, right? Oh. oh my goodness, dude. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Is Soul of Force better? No, we're okay. <sighs> anyway, what was I gonna say? I don't know, but we've got a lot of extra health now, so I don't think it's a big as big of a concern. Uh, I didn't want to overcommit into like a wand type of scenario, right? I wanted to have a backup taunt, basically. Hold over. But the Blood Moon kind of changed a lot of calculus there at the end in regards to all the healing and stuff. I I think we have more than enough life now. Uh, uh, we're going to have an Amara in hand as soon as anything dies. Um, Lightning Storm. Okay, so they actually are running a, a surprising amount of removal, I'd say. Thankfully, the Blood Moon here hedged a fair bit there, kept, kept a couple things alive. Which is nice. South Sea, that's not bad. Okay. They're kind of dying to the return swing stuff a little bit right now, though. Guess they're gonna hit the mistress to heal up a fair little bit. Um, I wonder if we ever play... Like, I don't think we ever play Dancing Swords, right? I just don't want to risk giving them cards for no reason. I think we're actually just trying to kill them now. Because we have Book of the Dead as burst damage. They're taking a lot of just little chip damage off their, their attacks into my taunts. Uh, so, I don't know. Not quite there yet, though. I mean, I have, s what is a six and sevens, 13. They're taking probably four here. It's 17. Uh, okay. Icebreaker. Wow. Oh, it's got to be frozen, though. Oh. Is that, is that lethal? I didn't check. No, I got to attack twice for this for it to be lethal, probably, right? Uh, yeah, two off right now, right? 7, 10, 13. Dang. Is there any way to find a lethal here? Oh, yeah, there is. Cool. What just happened? What just happened? No. No! No! My game froze. No way, dude. No! Dude, dude, oh my God, no way, dude. No, 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 not like this, dude, not like this. Oh my God, no! So the swipe did go through, that's the important part because that's the most amount of mana, but obviously this could still go poorly. I actually need the minion attack, this is only 10. Oh, they're hitting now. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, as long as I'm not frozen on face here, we're fine. Dude. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh. Wow. 
Oh. Oh God, harrowing, harrowing. Oh, that was scary. Uh, we don't really like that stuff too much. Probably just like this removal better, don't we? I don't even hate just having these cheap cards, but not really. I like evil a lot for removal. I think that's fine. Natalie's pretty slow, but evil's a pretty cool removal card. It does kind of help them with mill technically, but who really cares too much? Uh, yeah, let's look, man, I, I do love light shower. Naturalize honestly might help me protect against like one of those early crazy minions maybe i ought to i don't know we have small backpacks i can keep this dude I, I'm, I'm gonna keep that it's such a big big heal later play to beetle's perfect okay yeah that's really good <sighs> all right crystal gem's scary cookies ladle is scary that's kind of the nightmare scenario but yeah that's scary all right we fall too far behind here man it's it's gonna be hard to get it back much like that paladin game but the, the bigger problem probably, I think this deck has a little more lethality because they have like every fin buffs and... I mean, I don't know if that's totally true because that... Oh my goodness, extra mana for me is actually pretty nice. I think they will benefit a lot less from that than I do. Although... They have Crystal Gem, so it's a little... Alright, that's probably Shadow Word Pain worthy. Uh, okay. I gotta, I don't know, man. I, I don't have the board reset currently. I really need Adara or Book of the Dead. Maybe an Excavated Evil, but that doesn't really feel like it's gonna be enough. Until I have that, I'm really worried about these boards just going crazy. Honestly, an Explosive Sheep would be decent. I'd take a freaking Sheep. I, I was gonna really say, I like, I like actually leaving yourself the 3-1 and buffing that guy better than than the alternative okay. gotta decide if i think a naturalize here is right i mean i don't even hate like a a, a card certainly don't hate a mirage caller either i lose coin so five mana starts to look awkward but twilight's call looks really good i need the life i think honestly yeah a one one's an interesting shape now too at this current board anyway Maybe not for long, but until I find Adara or Evil, I just don't know how I reset this board. It's going to be really, really, really tough to stay alive here. I will definitely use a Naturalize for just tempo recovery. There's no question. I'll happily kill a 4-4, 1-3, whatever makes the most shape sense. <laughs> so like Naturalize Twilight's Call is my first glance next turn, turn if I don't find something else. Uh, if these die off, I will also get an Adara then to buy me a turn, maybe. Oh, the Pith Helmet, dude. Wow. All right. Book of the Dead is not good yet. Activated Evil's okay, probably, if I get it. Pretty good. We'd make it work. Not perfect. Well, it's pretty good. We'd, we'd definitely be happy with Activated Evil. <sighs> definitely be happy with Activated Evil. Right now, I probably naturalize the Tide Loss. Like, the, the, the Lush Water is a longer-term problem, but... I'm hoping to not have to worry about the longer term problems as much. Yeah, prize vendor is not it. I think it's naturalized and just trades, right? Well, I mean, what can I trade into? Nothing is a very compelling trade. I guess it's always this guy. That doesn't kill the plated beetle, though. So I risk just dying. I can also... No, I can't make Amara yet. Oh, boy. This feels very, very bad. I think I'm just dying. Honestly, I don't know how to live here. Grimscale removes five damage. So the fact that this doesn't die doesn't matter so much, right? Because I'm getting the Grimscale upside anyway. Six, no, five damage is other. Yeah, other. This is still technically a little better. I've got this weird dilemma where I have to decide if I think a hero power or a Twilight's Call is better. I think technically a Twilight's Call is better, but there is some risk here that I'm dead because like every fin is awesome and stuff. So big buff here. I mean, I guess the board's not really that threatening yet, but there are definitely sequences that kill me. There's no question. They're at 7, 10 right now. So they need to find 15 damage. I mean, even a war leader right now is almost lethal. Alpha's not as bad. Okay. Now that they know I have Amara, they might feel like they need to trade a little bit. Oh man, I didn't even consider it. Wind Fury too. That's even more damage outs. Ooh, helping me draw is good because that might get me closer to Adara or Evil. 
They're gonna go face, even though I have the Amara, huh? Okay, interesting. Probably kill... This still needs to die, honestly, but... Yeah, dude, actually with evil here would be so nuts. Praying for these, like, 1 out of 28s as if they're... As if they're so likely, you know? Can I get away with a Light Shower Elemental this turn and save the Amara again, right? Can I greed an Amara? I'm healing a lot. They are trading a ton for me. Um... Amulet, huh? Boy, I just wish I could kill anything of relevance. Like, this having Wind Fury is really a pain. And hit here, and I guess here? Doesn't feel very good, though. Can't quite kill that. Light Shower heals 16, and I'm still at 17. I'm actually at 20, so I'm at 36. Definitely feels like I can get away with a Light Shower this turn, right? But I would like to trade this amulet, so I wonder if Amara is just better, and then Light Shower after. Because that way I fit better into my trade curve here. Because so I can find an Excavated Evil, I think we're always playing that instead. <sighs> Book of the Dead is also something we're playing instead. Okay, perfect. Uh, which of these is scarier inside? Either really matters, right? Both 1-1s. One Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I need tempo, right? I need, I need board. Okay, so the trade line works pretty well. Happy about that. Um, we do need another reset, though. We're certainly not out of the woods yet. There's going to be more boards. There's going to be more boards. You trade after book? Uh, you could, but then it would cost more mana. It cost, it was still two, so trading first... Don't think it made a difference, right? Why, why would trading after be better? It discounted it more by trading first. Maybe I'm not sure why it would be better. Okay. Do we play an Amara now that we're kind of like safe to play an Amara? It's still a heal of 25. It's still an 8-8. Eight, eight. I think we can probably play an Amara here. We still have the recovery if we need it there. Okay. I would like to do these together for 10 mana probably later. I like this. Okay, we're certainly not out of the woods by any stretch. Um, the mill plan may work a little faster in this one because of all the murlocs, right? So that's one thing to keep in mind for later. <sighs> Man, I really just don't clear stuff very well at all here. Oh, yikes, that's really nice for them. Jeez, are they gonna hit me for 10 again already? Oh, God, dude. That's what we were talking about earlier, right? This, these boards get so insane. No hero power here, thankfully, though. Sphere of Sapiens. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I think these go face, right? Yeah, I would I would probably go face, too. I get it. I get it. So Natalie here is, like, kind of... Oh, Shadow Word Death's kind of interesting. Okay. I don't hate that. Um, do I ever take a Grave Rune here just to, like, get some more four sevens? you know? I kind of think so, right? I just need the board. Like, I don't know if the Light Showers later are going to matter... <laughs> I wait till turn 10, you know? Are they really gonna make a difference? Or I just want the fours now. So hit, hit. Can't really kill these. Guess I can just Natalie then. I mean, what am I playing with the death? Maybe I'm playing the cold light to seeing what we get. Dead ringer is really good too. That's four, hero power six. I could go Karge as well, I guess. Just take like a three, three here, get some bodies. <sighs> That's a little bit cleaner, I guess. I think, I don't know. Kind of a passive turn, honestly, but it sets up a little better for later. Kind of a passive turn, but I'm hoping to have a better turn next turn. And we still have the light shower for emergencies. If things get like really out of hand, hopefully we can just light shower to heal back up, right? But I think the 2-1 being down is really important to help me thin the deck and find more good stuff, more cultists more tortolans more convincings would be insane but also just drawing cards helps me get to the the adara and the evil and the zyrella that really helped me start to stabilize the game plan wow okay crab rider what's, what's he hitting that for why is that the target maybe just the, i don't i don't know maybe you don't want me to draw twice so you don't hit this probably that makes sense Maybe hit the 4-1 now? What is happening? Anybody play AoE? Consecration! Okay, I actually don't hate that because I 
really end up with almost as many minions and I also get to draw sooner. I get to draw twice now instead of once, right? Because otherwise this second one would have been stuck on board, but now it can hit. So it kind of helps me draw extra. This is pretty bad though. Ooh, convincing grave rune seems completely insane to me. I think we like that. Let's uh, let's start here though. Bertolin is also pretty nice, but I don't think as good. I think we do value the removal on the convincing quite a bit. So I think we do that. Uh, light shower, I don't need to grave rune right. I want I want to be able to deal with boards. And and convincing helps me deal with boards, right? So, okay, we're, I mean, we're getting there. They're, they're getting lighter on resources now. I mean, frankly, they still have a lot. Um, they still have a lot and they're drawing a Murloc per turn, but I, 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 I'm starting to feel like we're turning the corner a little bit at least. I would still love to find an Adara to feel super safe. I would love more health. Zyrella would be nice. Zyrella would be really good. Reconvincing's on board is really cool too. Oh wow, dude. They're actually playing a shockingly annoying amount of removal. No way. Are you actually serious? What a boss, dude. <laughs> I, mean, I don't really mind too much because they're not like developing much, but what a baller to act. No way. That's sort of good for me, kind of. Technically, although I don't really totally believe it quite yet. Um, okay, is it time to start trying to mill? I don't know. But, but this is a good time to kind of take a downturn at least. This makes them draw four. That's ten to go. I don't, I don't know, man. I cannot believe they were just sitting on a full control paladin package the whole game. <laughs> It's just bear off pyro secret. Just sitting on it, dude. Just no way, dude. No. Oh, and they're all almost all dodging the Shadowward Ruin right now. Are you kidding me? I guess three of them died to Shadowward Ruin. That's really not too bad. We don't know if that's uh, Oh My Yog or not, though. That could be Oh My Yog. Uh, let's start here and draw. We don't technically have to totally freak out about this just yet. Um. I would prefer an Adara, of course, if I could get an Adara. Exerciser, huh? These three die. Like Karja Yasera in Shadowward Ruin. Just hit the Drek'thar, I guess. I'm, I'm still at risk to uh, Omayog, oh though. Could be an Avenge, maybe? That would actually potentially hit like a Yasera and kill it. Redemption, okay. That's not as bad. I'm, I'm glad. I'm just glad it's not... Uh, I like the 7-7 seven, seven better than the Acera, right? Honestly. They're drawing more cards here, which I don't really love now because they, they kind of aren't as behind as they were a minute ago, right? They were super behind and now they're kind of caught up, which makes me nervous. Um, okay. Dude, wish. Actually wish. Like, so insane. <laughs> I've never seen anyone have a good wish, but that was pretty good, honestly. Pretty good wish in the scheme of things. So Light Shower Exerciser's fine, probably. This deck definitely has more than just Murlocs, man. It's kind of nuts. I don't know if that was by design or just like random bucket stuff, but it's working out way too well for him. It's working out way too well. I need a good draw, man. I feel like I've been drawing pretty dead. We got 17 cards in my deck. What are they all? Some real garbage. Due process, I haven't seen in 100 years, by the way. Actually, I haven't seen in 100 years. Okay, oh, just drawing, okay. See. No fin can stop us. Oh my god. This still eats stuff, thankfully, though. Surely they're gonna be mostly trading here, not going face, right? Otherwise they fall far behind. Like the seven one in particular you wanna kill, I think. Well you don't really want to kill this because it pops out seven sevens, I guess. Huh, still hitting face a lot, man. I find that intriguing. Oh, this guy's back up. That's cool. That's cool. Shade Quill sucks, man. That's bad. I think I need to play Light Shower now because, uh, you yeah, know, we're taking some damage, right? We're taking some damage. Do I exercise the 5-3? I'm going to have plenty of board, I think. I'm going to have health off the Light Shower, presumably. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's worth taking the 5. I'm a little scared I'm dead over the top somehow, but... 
or, or like a silence effect or something. I don't, I don't know. 13 is really shaky. Did I do that? I feel like I played that too fast. Did I, did I trade right? I'm not even sure. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think I killed, I killed the bigger thing for like evolve style plays. I don't, I don't know. It's fine. Scargills. This might be another really big Murloc board, unfortunately, which I'm not good at dealing with right now. Amalgam's also a ton of value potentially. Ugh. Yeah, we need Zyrella, we need Adara again, I think would be totally fine. I mean, I don't really love Adara because it puts a bunch of garbage in my deck, so I'd rather have Zyrella. Wow. Okay, that needs to die first if we have to kill it. Okay, another big buff here. That's good for the trade on the 6-6 six -six here. This only procs on Murloc, so that guy doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, nature studies, sure. Probably just gonna Natalie the 5-6. Would love some card draw though. Draw a beast, do I have anything? These aren't beasts. Explosive sheep's a mech. No beasts, huh? Oh, I definitely don't want celestial alignment. That's not very good to me. I think I'm, I should have maybe drawn off my hero power. I'm really sad that this did basically nothing. Just absolute, just, yeah, trash discovery, exactly. It's just utter garbage, honestly. Uh, can I leave up a 5-4? Is there any reason to, though? Well, I can actually just hit it here, probably. This heals the 7-3 back up, heals me back up quite a bit. Okay, they are really running light on resources now. But I am also, I am too, right? I'm also dying. Like, I'm just, I need to start healing a minion soon to draw cards. I wish I'd started the turn that way. I didn't know that stupid nature studies is going to be absolute, utter garbage cards. <laughs> like, literally three totally useless things. I mean, this could potentially have value. I don't want to write this off because they have like their hero power. We could silence off a divine shield or something, right? Oh, interesting. Does that leave more cards in the deck? How does it work? Does it shuffle first or does it only ever grab the three that were in there? It only ever grabs the three. Okay, so they have less choices, but they did actually help themselves in fatigue a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Oh, no more locks left. Okay, that's good to know. Wow, dude, every game with this deck is just scrapping it out, just barely scraping by actual just, okay, I like Surly Mob. We actually need more of that sort of stuff. We need we need removal, I think. Hot Pat's kind of cool with some of our Death Rattle copies, but. Oh, oh my God. Uh, Nourish is good card draw for late game scenarios like we just had, so we'll take that. Starfire is fine. Umbral Owl's fine. None of this is good, but... Guys, I gotta go to bed, man. It's lit. Oh my god, I've been live four and a half hours! Oh my god, at least we're getting a good video out of it though, man. This deck's sick. This is a cool deck. Okay, big stuff makes me nervous. We're not good at clearing big minions in this deck. We can again try to like stall out a little bit, but uh, man, not not good. I actually think I value the stats of something like Dancing Swords quite a bit in this matchup because um i need to be able to trade in a bigger things and if their hand is big actually it can disrupt their hero power sometimes they don't want their hand to be too big because they split their discounts across too many minions atahi dude thanks for the prime sub that's awesome uh wait avenging armament still goes off if you silence the divine shield did you know this <laughs> i don't know if you're trolling or not we spent 10 minutes talking about this earlier in the stream on the off chance you're serious i did know that i had to convince chat for 10 minutes I don't know if that is a meme reference to that previous conversation or if you're really asking. So if you're really asking, yes, I know, it's crazy. And if you're memeing, A+. plus. <laughs> Good effort. <laughs> Good meme, sir. Uh, hey, Kobe Wan, thanks for the 200 bits, man. No, I was trolling. Okay, I figured. I figured, but I thought I'd ask just in case. Just in case. Early battle tactics, gross. Inspiring presence is pretty gross, too. This is a lot like that deck we were trying to play the other day, I feel like. You know, Karj could keep me, uh, keep me like, give me some board parity. Basically, if we, if they play a big thing, I could Karj it and copy it and like, kind of equalize the giant stats and stuff. It's not impossible. They sort of hesitated there. Did they have something that was playable already? Maybe like a Vandar or something that was two mana already? Or some other two mana play? Because they seemed like they were thinking about not hero powering. Like they might want to tempo something out there. I'm not sure. Oh, this is good to see too, man. This is also a pretty good combo. 
to get us some more removal against big stuff. Yeah, we actually, I think, have a really nice hand for, for this particular sort of matchup. That is an awkward shape for me, though, unfortunately. Moonlit's good. Let's start there. Honestly, yeah, I think I want more card draw. And again, I don't think their hand getting big is a problem, necessarily. But I need to make sure I can find my good removals. I'm going to need an Adara this game. I'm going to need a Book of the Dead this game. I'm going to need good stuff, obviously. So I can't overreact to the, the Phelan, right? I need answers to the next big scary things, not the Phelans of the world. These are pretty small potatoes in the scheme of things. I need big potatoes, sir. I need your biggest potatoes, <laughs> not your tiny baby potatoes. I'll save Nourish for card draw later. I don't think ramp is, is good enough for me. Zyrell is good to see. And just this turn is a little clunky, huh? I guess we do this again, honestly. Book of the Dead in hands. Good to see. We like that. We like that. Uh, okay, we'll play a mistress. That's fine. It, it kind of contests. We're burning a card here. Lieutenant burned. Okay. Talon burned. Okay. Scary, man. They've got a lot of stuff, you can tell. You can tell how greedy this deck is. they got a lot of stuff. Yeah, you can tell they're sitting on some greed here. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Again, I think our hand is about as good as it could be, honestly. A convincing infiltrator would feel really nice, and a Daro would feel really nice. But beyond some of that, I'm not sure this hand gets much better. That might be worth a death, honestly, already. You clearly don't want both of these to die, but we got to get through the Stalag. Cool with that. Ooh, we like due process a lot too. Yeah, yeah. Why solar due process, guys, and just really, really go? I must not fail. Everybody in chat says yes. I feel like I need the cards. I feel like I need the cards. I don't know, man. Solar surly mob so good though, guys. All right, that's why we're here, man. I don't know. It's why we're here. Screw it. It's why we're here. It's, it's what we're here for, so bring it. I don't know. <laughs> it's late at night. I'm, I don't know. Whatever, man. Okay, that's a good burn. That's a good burn. Okay. I didn't, I didn't come to, to, to not be a mill druid. Okay. We came, we came to mill. Deal. Deal with the meal. I'm really sad I didn't get to surly this, but it's okay. Oh, wow. Murloc Holmes. What? Why do you don't have any hand space? Why do you care? <laughs> you have nine cards in hand. What difference does it make? Yeah, I don't think you even want the card, right? They're trying to empty your hand, probably. So, okay, Mutanus is annoying. I mean, two small guys, thankfully, but still would prefer to have them, obviously. Although, hand size could be nice to actually lose some hand size. It might be advantageous, honestly. Irella is still garbage. We really, really want to find convincing infiltrators, Adara's. Again, I'll just keep saying the same stuff over and over again, basically. Nothing too surprising, I think. Um, this is an okay light shower, just because it kind of stalls out the board into a Book of the Dead, maybe. <sighs> or Ruin, or whatever, whatever thing is most fitting, right? Grave Rune will be best on Convincing Infiltrator, I'm, I'm fairly certain. Like, I lose the healing here, but I'm not thinking that healing is going to be our biggest check in this game. You know, I don't, I don't think healing is going to be our biggest problem. Murloc Holmes number two burned. Oh, that's kind of a surprise to see. That's a shocker. Ruin's good to have, though, man. I love the Ruin. Love the Ruin. Surly's going to be better when that Murloc Holmes is gone. I do need to start playing cards out every turn, right? So... Or we're just gonna burn too much stuff. Oh, you think the Denathrius is a problem? Hmm, I didn't think about Denathrius. They could have a Denathrius, yeah. Typically, this deck doesn't have a lot of small minions, but we've already killed quite a few small guys. We're hopefully burning a lot of their smaller minions, so that might help solve the problem a little. Like, they may not have a lot of minions as much as they would expect, you know. Oh, so Fugans already are Thaddeus' problem. Okay. Hmm, okay. Hmm, okay. That is a lot of stuff. Book of the Dead will make a Thaddeus. So I could Shadow Word ruin it. Uh, Surly Mob will leave a... F Can I kill that 4-1 anyway easily? Not really, right? It's a pretty good Book of the Dead, though. Leaves leaves us 4-1 and a 4-1, though. <sighs> 
I don't really, I don't love that. The surly mob's not going to connect. You need to open them all first. Yeah, but the, the how, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no good way to do that. I, I think we just Book of the Dead. I, must I think we're okay. We, I think we, I think we Shadow Word Ruin, frankly. I think we're going to just trust the top of the deck to draw me more cards. It's my theory here. Um, we're drawing so much that, uh, I think we can just play stuff basically here. It's a little risky, yes, because, you know, we may not have the next answer, but... Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm... Okay. Let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Advanced... <laughs> Advanced calculus. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Uh, I, just, I just did it the wrong order. I don't know. I, my, I'll, I'll tell you what my brain said, right? My brain said, oh, well, you don't want to surly because you might accidentally hit one of the Thaddeuses, right? And then you've wasted your surly mob, but obviously that's better than for sure leaving them a Thaddeus. So if I'm going to surly, I have to do it before the ruin. I, I don't know. Just hope to hit the 50-50, the, the basically. Just, just ignore me. Yeah, third Holmes, dude. Crazy. They actually got it, too. Wow. But do you even want it? Awaken the Makers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's pretty cool i'll be honest that's pretty cool got the quest dude what a baller hey tingus i was gonna tell you i missed your sub the other day dude i'm really sad i was like really you you left and i'm oh wow that's a forgot about that's a mill counter there shoot dang it dude dang it dude dang it dang it dang it dang it that's a mill counter shoot Oh, crap. I mean, I, I catch up a little bit with um, shellfish and stuff, so it's not like necessarily the end of the world, but man, is it a bit of a pain. Oh, yeah, I could Grave Rune this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Grave Rune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need to empty the hand. I can't get too greedy with the Grave Runes. I was going to save it for um, convincings, but I don't think I can get too greedy. I just need hand space, right? So. It's fine. Um, actually, you know what? I, I think I need board space now too, a little bit, maybe technically. Let's let's start softening this guy up. I think I might actually legit have to kill it with damage. So let's just start hitting him here. Sin, this deck is the greediest deck I've ever seen in my life, dude. He has literally everything. Hopefully he doesn't get a silence or something insane. This game is so high octane, dude. Uh, so high octane. Yeah, shard would be so gross, yeah. I mean, you could have wand and stuff too, right? We've got duel treasures to deal with as well right now. We're not dead on board, so we could still Amara, but we'd be in a tough spot, I think. Wow, yes, draw those cards, yes. Perfect. <laughs> Are they just gonna burn? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Gold road's gone. So that must be a rush minion then. Did that get rush, I guess? Doesn't have divine shield. It drew two cards, so it must have rush, right? So here's another Thaddeus. There's a lot of two attack dudes. There's that board space we were talking about, right? Okay. Can I just like clean all this up? I don't know, man. It seems like it, right? There's the shellfish. That's what's going to equalize fatigue here a little bit, I think. I'm really not paying a lot of attention to this, but I don't think I necessarily need to to get it exactly right here. 11 yeah okay well it's actually gonna be overkill isn't it um dude this Zyrella is gonna if I have a minion on board with Zyrella <laughs> I'm gonna have like the craziest freaking Zyrella you've ever seen I think this always overkills right there's no way to do this perfectly clean so we might as well I guess I could have taken some 50 50s there yeah I probably should have actually Okay, staying, staying at low uh, card totals, of course. Now we've got more mill cards in, burning every card of theirs. Okay. I like they were burning the minions, although the spells are kind of scary too. Spells are kind of scary. Spells are kind of scary. Why not go face? Because I risk losing to like wands immediately. Any kind of silence effect. Once I lose the board like that, it's gone currently. Until I can find an Adara or something, I have to be a little bit safer on board, I think. Okay. 
So these start to equalize our fatigue, particularly with Zyrella, right? This is um, this is eight cards. Zyrella's another eight, so that's 16, right? So they're now suddenly, they're ahead by 10 right now, but then they'll be behind by six. Not that I have to play the Zyrella yet or anything, just... That's how we put them behind, I think. Does that pull out of deck or is that copies? That's copies, yeah, okay, sadly. A lot of princesses, dude. This guy's deck is one of the greediest decks I've ever seen in duels. He's got everything in here, man. He does not care. I'm really proud of how empty we're keeping our hands, by the way. Oh my God. I got it convincing now, dude. That's gross. Oh, oh, no way. No way, dude. No way, dude. Do I actually take this surly? Cause Natalie's so expensive, right? Um, oh, this is just a one of. Wait, I thought, did we have two Surly's? I thought we used this. Shouldn't this be upgraded to destroy two? Why isn't this upgraded to destroy two? Am I crazy? Did I miss that? Oh, Shadow Visions. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, I do kind of agree that Natalie will never be better. I, I, I'm going to burn cards for the first time, really, but that's okay. It's, it's truly never going to be better than this, so. Oh. Ooh, Zealot gone. That's good. Stoneborn again gone. I've never seen a deck this greedy in my life, dude. This guy has the greediest Hearthstone deck I've ever... Another Fugim, you're kidding me. The greediest Hearthstone deck I've ever seen. How does he have this many cards and he's still in the run? It's so greedy, dude. It's so greedy. So I'm going to burn a card next turn, which, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I mean, Adara would be very sad, but whatever. We'll make it work. Next turn, I need to dump as much as I can. So I can go like Twilight's... Surly Death's Head to dump three. I guess that would be best. Oh, wow. Another fatigue protection card. You're kidding me. Hopefully we can burn that, but kind of crazy to get some fatigue value there. How many cards are in his deck? Currently 21. We're at 16. This will put him at uh, 19 to 16, but then Zyrella goes nuts. Uh, sadly, we have, if we had the, oh, we had the Dancing Swords too. So Zyrella is going to make him draw 10 uh, whenever we want a Zyrella. Now, I think I still want to save the Zyrella for man is Zyrella ever lethal guys because how many how many of those stupid buffs did I have like th this probably gets buffed to like a billion um I don't think it's time yet I think I think we want to be a little bit safe I don't I don't think it's enough for lethal here I think we need to be a, a, a hair more careful I think I just want to play a lot of cards here I think I go ahead and rip this, honestly, even though it's small minions, just because eh, I could play two cards or I could play one and protect these assets, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if I died at an Athreus yet. We've got a lot of cards up, a lot of health here. I, must not fail. I don't know. I kind of I kind of think I'm moving into the end phase, but but at the same time, I don't really need any of the cards in my deck either. So yeah, he's had this in hand literally the whole game. So Denathrius would be pretty crazy potentially. Okay, so I don't burn anything, so this is probably still fine. I I think I want to play Zyrella really soon, though, if I can. We're actually almost going to burn his entire deck with Naturalized Zyrella. If I have a decent board, it also could actually just be lethal. Is this Denathrius? Is he going for it? Oh, it's Nazoth this whole time. Okay. That's kind of gross, yeah. All the stall, stall lags and fugans are really actually a pain for me because um, they all turn into Thaddeus, right? They all turn into Thaddeus. Uh, I don't have any lethals though, because my Zyrella buffs the board like a lot. And I already have 12, 14. I don't think she buffs at 11 though, guys. She doesn't buff at 11, right? Because I didn't have 11 dudes. I had, I had like seven or eight or something. Everybody keeps saying Zyrella's lethal for sure, but how? Fatigue? He's not going to be in fatigue yet. Even if this trades off, I don't think he's in fatigue yet, guys. <sighs> she buffs at least 10 guaranteed. I don't, I don't know if that's true, man. I, I think the only play, though, is Adara. If I don't, Zyrella, right? What else am I doing? I guess I could probably get away with an Amara. Oh, do these actually do more or less damage? I don't know. Let's test uh, evasion for... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. Well, now it's not lethal. Guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a turn. 
Mrs. Kelvin, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it was evasion, guys. Yes, yes. Thank God I didn't go for it. Uh, Mrs. Kelvin, I, uh, I, sorry, I gotta concentrate. We're just go <laughs> later, later, later. Okay, I'm hoping I'm not dead here somehow to like Denathrius hits and stuff. But I think this is nice. Next turn, I'll either try to Surly, Adara, or Zyrella my way through this because we're getting really close to fatigue now being a lethal push. So, because naturalized Zyrella is a billion damage now. Yeah, evasion would have screwed us though. I mean, I screwed us with the armor anyway, but evasion really would have screwed us. They didn't try to kill this first, but maybe they have a plan here. Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, I'm, I'm not happy about that, but I'm also not like terribly sad about it because that's less face damage maybe going through. Zyrella, well, now that the convincings are in too, Zyrella will do a much better job of clearing the board. Like she'll actually contest the board as well. Does Zyrella have anything that messes up my minions? Like does she have, you know what I mean? Like a, I can't think of what exactly, but can I get an Adara and just really solve this game right now? gonna burn Adara, aren't I? No, not quite. I, cannot hold any more cards. <sighs> I really don't feel like this is actually enough right now, but between Naturalize and Zyrella, I don't know what better play I have. I may have to hit an 11-11, man. I don't know. Let's just see what... Uh, it's gonna take a minute, so I gotta go. I don't think I have time to wait. It's gonna clear quite a bit of stuff. I mean, it's not enough to, like, lethal they're back to 40 obviously but oh we had healing in the Zyrella too guys see there was a lot of problems with that Zyrella line the turn before I'm kind of relieved we didn't do that healing off hinge clans too yeah man I don't know guys that might have backfired we burned the soul stone <sighs> dude I feel like I'm gonna die on board I feel like I don't have anything left here nothing's dying where are the convincings dude where are the convincings I feel like I'm dying. I'm gonna do this for like some some taunts, maybe, man. I don't know. I feel like I'm dead. Why can't I play this? Why is my mana gone? What just happened? Why did my mana? Why couldn't I play that? I hit the wrong target, by the way. But I I don't know. I was just trying to find something before time ran out. Why why wouldn't it let me play that? Am I dead? No, I'm not dead. Okay. Oh, the naturalize was still animating. Oh, that's why. Okay. Oh my god, I hit the wrong target. I lost two health here. So that's 26 and 6 is 32 damage, guys. That's actually really scary. Crap. The Nathrius probably kills me here if they have it. But do they have to trade, maybe? I mean, I don't think the two damage is going to be super relevant, but, you know, better to better to hit an 11-11, of course. Can't believe you haven't drawn a Dara this whole game, by the way. <laughs> We're so deep into a game where Adara would be absolutely amazing. Are they going for a Denathrius here? It's only the earliest it's been in hand is turn six. I'm only at 14. I feel like it can't be that big with a 21 on board. Right? Can it be that big? Wow. That doesn't change Denathrius math. It's 19. That's never lethal, right? No. Dang close though. Shoot. Can I please God get Adara? Can I please God? Oh, finally. Good Lord. I'm dead to weapon, though. I'm dead to weapon if I go for Adara. Is it lethal with Cold Light Oracle? No. Well, actually, oh my God. Is it? If they take three and four. That's uh, that's seven. Then they take three more. Twelve. And, and six is 18. And seven is 25. And three is 28. Do I have any other way to make them draw cards? I don't have any other way to make them draw cards. Okay, so we just... Uh, Adara and try to make some taunts. <sighs> They're not dead. Hope to God we get some taunts here. Because I'm worried six, you know, is not. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Okay. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, they would have taken another 13, so it wasn't lethal on the cold light. Well, that two damage might matter, by the way, guys. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, suddenly thinking that two damage might matter. If I lose to that two damage, it would be really sad. Sure, that's not the only mistake I've made, but it was one of the more obvious ones, like a more controllable one. A lot of things here have been very difficult to control, but that was uh, 
That was a pretty e easy one. I got lazy on the trade, just trying to do it quick, quick, quick. Okay. They don't seem to be super excited about a play, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. <gasps> oh my God. This duels run is the craziest duels run I've ever had. I cannot believe these games. That is like three straight, absolutely, completely crazy games in a row. That's three straight, like 20 minute banger duels games. This run, dude, actual run of the ages. Yeah, I'm, I'm divorced, but it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it. I knew if I got distracted, I wouldn't be able to survive. Yeah, out of breath after spending some time in the skill bin. Yes, exactly. Okay, I want good death rattles this game. I want good on curve death rattles. I think having an Amara is really important to stay alive against all the moon fires. <sighs> um, I mean, they can still burn me from 40 though. So I don't know. I might need play to beetles and stuff too. We could try to fill their hand up so much that they have a hard time making moon fires, you know? Or like they get moon fires, but they burn all their, their spell damage stuff. That might be a possibility. <laughs> There's a YouTube title, yeah. No, she wasn't mad. Why would she be mad? All right. I can't believe eight wins, dude. That last game really took it out of me though. I'm feeling very fatigued now. Our last games, guys, 10 turns, 16 turns, nine turns, 13 turns, and 15 turn games. Every game is a miracle, dude. Oh my gosh. I think we do it. I don't I, I don't think we hold it for the solar. I think I want it. I think I like that idea of like filling up their hands. Uh oh, they're like doing discover stuff, so they will be able to play their hands out pretty cheaply, but they're getting extra cards in hand all the time. So they may they may have like constantly full hands that make their life really awkward, even if they're cheap. Even if they're cheap. Feeling fatigued. Wow, I didn't even notice, Nathan. Feeling fatigued. Amazing for our fatigue deck, dude. How did we make a mill deck work in duels? I'm so proud. Honestly, I'm so proud. All right, let's go. Double draws, baby. I want to burn their guild trader. I want to burn their other spell damage cards, which I guess is another guild trader. Um, I need to go quick too, though, myself. I want to find shellfish. I want to find naturalize. I want to find healing. I mean, I don't think they're going to do a lot of chip damage though, right? They're not going to like put me to 20 and then I need to heal back to 40. They're going to try to go all at once, aren't they? So maybe keeping the handful really is the strategy there. So they just can't make good moon fires or if they do, they're sitting on a bunch of dead moon fires till they find spell damage. Then we burn the spell damage. That's got to be the play, right? I'm thinking if they discount their hand a lot, will they have things that are easy to play? Like, will they have cards that are easy to dump? Like, will they, you know, will they need to be removing things? I don't know. Man, they are still just moving through cards so easily though. Jeez. Light Oracle already burned some cards, but me too. So does Dead Ringer though, if I don't coin something. Let's do this for now. I'm wondering if playing minions is a little bit of a liability because they have ways to use their removal now. Like if they're sitting on a bunch of removal cards. I don't really know the path to win this game. It's not clear to me. Burning a guild trader is about the only plan I have at the moment. Oh boy, that's not good. Because now they can turn all those cheap garbage cards into five fives, which I think is much worse for me. I don't even know what I'm, what am I even looking for here? I have no idea. Solar, what? I don't know. I just have no plays. I need to dump coin. Clearly, this is not the, the best target for our shadowy figure. Gahoon burned. Oh, weird. Okay. I guess Gahoon gives them cheap stuff. Uh, all right. I want to I want to try to I want to try to burn everything in one big swoop if I can. Like naturalize and cold light together. Maybe even a shellfish too if I could arrange all that so that they don't have time to kind of rhythmically empty their hand. Rhythmically emptying their hand. Illuminate. Those are really nice cards to throw away, huh? Sadly. There's a moonbeam gone just to dump the hand. Okay. Looks like they want a 5-5 five, five here, of course. We can death one of these, no problem. Do they moonfire to clear? They do. So they're not, they're not in combo mode yet. They might be more in dragon soul mode for now. Which I'm okay with, I guess. These don't have to be unique, right? This is just gonna make some cards. 
Maybe I like sheep better in that case because the card just don't really do anything. <laughs> Why would they keep a Moonfire if it burns a real card? Because their deck is most likely a Moonfire combo deck, but it just depends on the shape of their deck. If they have enough cheap spells, they wouldn't, and they didn't, but that's why none of us are that surprised. But but don't act as if there's no reason. That's why I said they must not be thinking much about their combo right now. They're thinking about turning it into dragons, which completely makes sense. <sighs> All right. They're in a dragon mode, not a combo mode. So why keep a Moonfire? Hunter's Insight too. Man, oh man, they've got cheap cards everywhere. Arbor up for two. Oh my. That is actually a pain. Oh goodness. This is after, so they didn't lose a buff there. It's fine. I mean, I do have sheep here. It's kind of a good time to have the sheep. Uh, do I ever grave rune a sheep? <laughs> that doesn't feel right to me. I don't think I do, right? Are you guys saying grave rune the sheep? It doesn't, it doesn't, uh... Does this death rattle goes off first, right? So it doesn't it doesn't chain into the sheeps, guys. Because it's gonna have two death rattles. Do they go off simultaneously? I don't think it kills its own I don't think it kills its own sheep. If you guys are thinking it kills its own sheep. The board clear for next turn logic I do like a little more, but it's still not maybe my favorite. Because I'm almost dead. I, I think I'm actually better off maybe just playing a taunt here. And uh well, okay, this this order is wrong. Ignore the ignore this order. I have to I have to trade the sheep. I need this one to be able to attack. Ignore this order. My God, I got too distracted reading chat. Ignore that order, but do pay attention to the play. Uh, that that was the correct play minus the the terrible order. I, I need to attack because I need to set up the sheep to clear next turn. I think. Amor is burned. Why did I draw two cards? I drew off my hero power, didn't I? Told you my brain was melted after that last game. I told you, I knew it was. I knew it was, I knew it was melted. It's really not the end of the world, I don't think, but I'd obviously rather have an Amara than a, than a dancing swords. <sighs> okay, they didn't answer the sheep, so. Oh, they did answer the sheep. Oh, they did, and I'm very dead. Dang, dude. That is actually nuts. Oh, wow. Well, the good news is, I don't know if we, <laughs> we ever could have lived against this. That's some small prize. We might have been screwed no matter what here. Uh, Surly mob ever enough. We, we, we don't have that solar anymore. Anything here? No excavated evil is not enough. Uh, that never does enough. I mean, trade Surly might be able to keep me alive, but barely. Is there like a shadow or death here, maybe? No, we use that on a 5-5 already. Book of the Dead, maybe, yeah. That could do it. Better than what I got now. Exerciser, don't do squat. Doesn't ever keep me alive, right? A, a, a sheep! Oh my god, I didn't do the math here. 12, 17, 22, 30. Oh, I'm technically alive, but I'm sure Moonfires will fix that in no time at all. Sheep is back. All right, I'm cool with losing like this at least. I'm just burned out, man. It's hard to beat that. I don't think the due process line worked, by the way. Just too much tempo, really. Just crazy, crazy tempo out of it. And they had so much damage too. Oh my God. Oh my God. Really gross. Full here would be nice. Full heal here would be nice. Uh, sort of. I mean, yes, of course we should have. It would be better to have an Amara than not, but it really wouldn't be that nice because you'd just still be dead on board to, to like another 30 damage. I don't really know if it would have made a difference. What happened here, man? What, what, what's the deal here? Dragon Soul beat us. Yeah, it's really tough. Uh, Cesaro, yes. Yes, unfortunately they were solved in the first like three hours, like two months ago. I'm glad, I hope you had fun with it, but yes, they've been claimed for quite a while. That, that artwork's been out for three months almost at this stage.
Uh, okay. Wow. Two epics and match a pair. Could have cleared board on the sheep turn by star for firing your second sheep. Let's see. This turn here? Oh, we did have we did have six mana, yeah. Oh, I guess I got a hit here, so maybe it just leaves up the seven six. Yeah, I don't hate it. I was kind of hoping to, you know, like if you if you look here, if you look at the game state minus the puzzle box, it, it, I thought we were setting up this kind of board, right? This actually looks like a pretty good clear, but then the puzzle box hits, and we both lose the 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 sheep at all to react, and of course everything is now a thousand times bigger. So. You know, I, I didn't play to the puzzle box, but I get a nice taunt to set up the same sort of board clear. I mean, look how nice this is right here. You just leave a 1-1 one, one here and you don't waste a resource. Or I guess you leave a 4-3-2, four, four, but... And you don't lose a Starfire. You get your taunt reborn in for the for the Amara, which, of course, actually backfired because I burned the Amara because I hero-powered like an idiot. But um, I don't know. I, I feel like this is actually a pretty good line. It'd be... Be a pretty big commitment to, to starfire my own minion and still be behind on board, right? Like I'd still be losing on board and have spent my entire turn for it without advancing my quest. That would make me a little nervous. It might've worked out better knowing now that there's a puzzle box, of course. Like obviously the puzzle box punished hard. That's an incredibly atypical treasure, especially in a deck like this one. I guess it makes sense with the dragons, but not something you expect to play around too much. I mean, we had seen an arbor up so maybe you could argue that Arbor Up was more likely to, to ruin the sheep line. Yeah, I should have maybe played... Well, I don't know. Dead Ringer could have backfired the same way that Hero Power backfired, right? Or would Dead Ringer have immediately given me the Amara? That might have been better if it was immediate, yeah. I was trying not to play Dead Ringer because we were already so full on stuff. But if it, had, if it had immediately given the Amara, it certainly would have been better than Hero Power. Hero Power completely screwed me. I wasn't ready for the death proccing the Amara. I don't know. I, I feel like we were kind of doomed either way, to be honest. I don't know. Like looking at our hand, I don't know how we ever get out of this one. I don't. This is just such a mismatch of, of garbage. Zyrella into sheep would have been nice on eight. We got there. Wait, why didn't we play Zyrella here? I guess it didn't matter. We had two sheep. Or was I already dead? Maybe. Oh, I don't think I had an eight. That's their eight. I didn't have an eight. Yeah, Mistress instead of Amulet. I think the book was too expensive If if I only had... I don't think we'd killed enough for the book yet to be zero. So I didn't think trading into the book would have mattered. I had to get it at the beginning, I think. Uh, then if I traded, that would have been 10. Yeah, I think the book was still four mana at this stage. Yeah, I think four was the best it could be. So trading at the end, wouldn't, it wasn't a zero mana book yet. It was actually even barely cheap enough off of the Shadow Visions. So even even that would have probably left up a minion. Although the sheep would have saved, saved the day. Anyway, I... Uh, Great run, guys. Insane run. S and stupidly happy with that run. Eight wins with a mill deck is just obscenely good.